Hey guys, it's Brendan here with Legacy RV Center. This is the, behind me is the Phoenix 360 mid bunk. Um, we've got a guest star, Gino. He's just checking it out because it's brand new. So it's, everyone's excited to have it. And we haven't had one here in the store yet, which is super exciting to have. That's the other thing about right now, we are getting new inventory in almost weekly. So it is nice to uh, get more inventory to show you guys, not only on the YouTube video, but for you guys to take out camping. That's our favorite part is you guys taking it out camping. Um, let's go over some of the features that you get out on the outside on this. Um, tons of deep storage up front. Um, it's a full pass through too that we love. I mean, it creates it so you can have uh, you know lots of height, but also lots of room to store whatever you need to bring uh, with you camping, which is pretty cool. Nice big electric awning and it has the LED light strip under there too so you can have light if it gets dark outside and you still want to keep the party going. Uh, you do have a light strip for that which is pretty nice. You also have lit speakers on the outside so you can bring the party outside from inside. Um, so you can have all your entertainment and all that good stuff outside which is, we always like that. Right here is one of your propane tanks. The other propane tank will be on the other side, which is pretty cool. So it doesn't take up uh, one space in the storage. It is separated. So you get a little more storage, not only here, but in the front storage there, which is pretty cool. Let's check out solid surface steps. Those are always a good time. Uh, not as flimsy or uh, wobbly as those other ones that they do. These just fold up and lock into the door. Super slick system. Um, and we've loved them. It uh, definitely is not as easy to fall down these as it is the other ones, um, especially in the winter time. <laughs> uh, nice big windows too. That's the other thing that we love about the, the Phoenix does is nice big windows. So you get tons of natural sunlight. Uh, it also saves you a little bit of money on the uh, actual lights inside because you don't have to leave them on as long. It's just super neat. Back ladder, it looks like it's rated for about 250 pounds. It is a 3 8 full walkable roof up top too. Uh, it is a full TPO roof, um, so it's a little bit upgraded material than a, a standard rubber membrane roof. Um, so that's something cool that they bring to the market. It really lasts good up in the Utah climate because we get a lot of hot and cold, uh, especially in the springtime, you get a little bit of every season all in one week or one day at times. Um, so that is nice that it is built for that. Over here, you have your electric stabilizer. Uh, you have one up front too, which is pretty neat. Um, so that'll help stabilize out the coach. It's not as rocky when you're, uh, you know, inside enjoying it camping. They do give you uh, the tube on the back or the bumper on the back. So you can put the black tank sewer hose under there, uh, tuck it away, which is super nice. Let's check out over here. This is a really awesome part. And you'll notice on this exact unit, it is pre-wired for the camera setup. So you can put the cameras on. Um, it does save you a little bit of money on installation time because you don't have to pay for the full wire kit. Um, that's pretty cool. It just uh, goes on a little fob in your, uh, that you can stick on your dashboard. And then you can see if you're turning, if someone's on your blind spot. So it kind of covers you on that. So that's pretty cool that they offer that. This is a huge thing right here though, is the central docking. So you have all your hookups all in one area. So you'll notice the tank fills, it shows you which uh, direction to go when you're filling, uh, what, what to go when you're using it. Also how to winterize, this coach is in winterize mode right now. Um, that's why you'll notice a lot of the pink stuff both inside and out. Um, but that's pretty cool. And all your hookups are in the same area. So your city water hookups right here. You also have your black tank flush. Um, you know, the black tank drain, you also have the gray tank drain right there, which is pretty cool. Um, nice big water heater too. Show you the, show you guys this. this is pretty cool. It's actually a 10 gallon water heater and it is the gas electric. So that is pretty cool. Um, you can run it as both modes with that quick recovery system. It uh, recoups the water a lot faster than the old ones used to be. So you have tons of hot water when you're showering. Uh, no more Navy showers. <laughs> This is your battery cutoff right here. I'll have my guy grab that. So that'll kill all the power to the coach when you want to store it. You don't have to worry about uh, leaving it on, killing your... Jump on inside and we're going to check this out. This, so this model is pretty cool because it's the mid bunk room. Uh, I'll have my camera guy go through this. You'll see there's tons of storage in here up top there. Um, you got tons of storage right here as well. Also a little shelf if you want to put a backpack or a suitcase, something right there is pretty cool. Um, 
And this one does sleep two people in here, two or three, depending on how you want to stack it. Um, but kind of a cool little fun layout for you there um, on the mid bunk. We'll jump in the kitchen here. So a couple things I want to point out. First, you get the solid wood cabinetry, which is super awesome. It's going to be a little sturdier too than uh, like an OSB board style um, cabinet. Um, tons of storage too. And I like how this has the LED lights under the back glass. It's kind of cool. But tons of storage in there. Uh, you can see everything is screwed together too. So once again, that's going to make the cabinetry last a lot longer, which is pretty cool. Um, it's kind of projecting your investment up front. Massive farm style sink that's stainless steel, which is pretty cool. It cleans up really nice and easy. Um, doesn't scratch as easy as the plastic sinks too, which is kind of cool. Um, that'll also help your resell. We did pass right here. So right here you have the ceiling fan uh, right there, which is pretty neat. I like that because one, it circulates air, but two, it gives the unit uh, kind of a homey feel um, by having the fan there, it's pretty cool. And like I said, it helps circulate the air, which is nice. Um, also right here, you have majority of your light switches uh, for inside right here. And then there's separate ones along the coach that we'll go over, which is kind of cool. You also have your central thermostat right here. So this will control your zones, temperature. So you can have a different zone down here, different, different zone up front, which is pretty neat. Um, the other thing, this has dual AC. They're the 15,000 B2 ACs. Um, so you can have your own kind of central climate down here. Uh, and then the own up in the front. So if someone wants it really hot down here, you can have a super cold up front, which is kind of cool. Um, similar to like a house would be. Over here too, you have the pullout bed, which is pretty cool. It's a tri-fold sofa. So you do have a sleeper right there. On this model too, they put in the uh, theater seats with the heat and the massage. So that's kind of nice. They set you up with like your own theater si system right here, uh, especially with the surround sound. I think you guys would like it a lot. Um, it's a pretty cool setup. Um, you also have the Brazilian wood dinette right here, which is pretty cool. I like the color of it because it looks pretty sharp, but it also doesn't scratch as easy as a normal surface. Um, and you do have the four seats there, so it is kind of nice to have an actual dedicated dinner table. Um, or if you want to be outside either way, we don't judge. So Pretty cool right here. You have a fireplace as well, as I mentioned. So that's a 4800 BTU fireplace. So that'll actually space heat this entire area down here. So that's kind of nice if you have full hookups, uh, electricity, all that. Um, you can actually space heat the area without using your own gas. So that saves you a little bit on the propane, um, which is kind of cool. But we've been more than impressed with these high output um, electric heaters right there. Oh, my camera got grabbed under here too. This is pretty cool. So that actually comes with uh, um, the booth seats. Um, it actually comes with the stools, which is nice for the bar or for the center island. So that's pretty cool um, that you guys get those. You don't have to go and try to hunt them down after the fact. That's nice that they just threw that in. Tons of storage in here though, like I was mentioning. And you will notice on like uh, bunkhouse majority, like fifth well bumper pull, whatever it be, uh, you will notice the storage is gonna be a little bit bigger because they're accounting for you sleeping more people in it. Um, like this one, figuring you sleep six to eight uh, quite comfortably. So that's gonna be what the storage is built for. Like you have all this up here too, which is super nice. And I love that it's lighted because if you have to get stuff at night, you can see what you're doing. Or it just creates kind of a cool uh, ambiance with the light on back there if you have all the other lights off and you want to watch a show or something um, so that's pretty cool but yeah lots of storage in this coach that's what we love um, too is you have plenty of room to put everything they have a dedicated area for the garbage can so it's not out here floating around it's actually dedicated right there and then it uh, folds and tucks away which is pretty cool because then you don't have it in the way and knocking it over and stuff um, triple burner stove it is the bigger oven in this guy too so that's kind of nice um it's just a little bit bigger than a standard rv oven uh you get the full microwave too it looks like it is the convection microwave as well um so that's nice to kind of have both of those features you can cook a little bit faster um, a huge selling point on these two is this 10 7 cubic refrigerator this is the 12 volt refrigerator um super awesome tons of storage in the freezer and in the actual fridge space which is pretty cool um we've liked that a lot just because you know if you're sleeping a lot of people you got a bigger family tons of storage in the fridge for you to keep all your food um 
Yeah, let's jump up in the bedroom and check that out. So up in here, this is the master suite. You do have this pretty cool door here. Uh, seals and locks off right there. So that's kind of nice. It's the sliding door. Another one of those homey features that I love uh, about these coaches that Phoenix puts it real, uh, together really well um, in their fifth wheels and in the Shasta bumper poles. But we'll go over that in another video. The cool thing about this, tons of space. You have your own bed slide out actually right there. So it creates tons of room for the bedroom. This folds up so you have a massive under bed storage. Um, if you really wanted to sleep eight to 10 people, two kids could, e could easily fit down there. Um, totally joking, but nice idea. Tons of storage in here. Bit nice big full wood drawers and they're the solid wood too. Once again, it's just gonna last you a little bit longer. You will notice right here too, you have your own separate AC for the bedroom. Um, so that's another thing that you control on the thermostat down there, but you can have your own temp up here, which makes it pretty nice. If you're a cold sleeper like me, most of the time I'll just keep the windows open, but if you want the AC blown up here too, uh, you can do that from down there, which is pretty neat. Nice, good sized closet. I can't quite stand up in it, but you can see how big this is. It goes back here quite a ways as well. Um, you have your washer and dryer hookup right there too. So if you did want to add that, this coach is prepped for it. Um, so that's kind of cool that they give you the option. If you wanted to end up full timing for it, you could. This is pretty cool. This folds up. So you have a storage under there. Um, so it's kind of hidden away. That's kind of kind of a cool feature, I thought. Um, jump in the ba bathroom here. Nice big showers. And it's not like your standard uh, mid-pro fifth wheel showers. Most of them are kind of cramped and they have a super low ceiling. Um, I'm 5'9", so I can stand up pretty comfortably in here, but it looks like it's even set for if you're six, you know, 6'2", six 6'4", six whatever. Um, you have the room right here, which is kind of nice because then you don't have to worry about whacking your head every time you get in and out. But a pretty good sized bathroom up here. Tons of space, coat hangers, towel hangers, all that stuff. Um, it does have the porcelain sink, which is nice. Again, that's not gonna scratch as easy. It's gonna last you a little bit longer. Also way easier to clean. Um, medicine cabinet there, and that's pretty, goes back there pretty deep, which is nice. And under here, under the sink, so you can put, you know, what other stuff that you wanna put that wouldn't fit over here, you can put under there. So that's pretty cool. One thing that I love too, one, it has a motion light in here, so you can leave this light off if you wanted to. Second, the door opens, that light will pop on, which is pretty cool. But they also have its own heat duct and AC vent in the actual bad, uh, bathroom. A lot of people miss out on that. Uh, they don't put one in here. Um, so the bathroom often gets really cold or really hot. Um, so that's kind of cool that they added that little feature in there for you so you can be comfortable uh, showering or whatever in here. Suck my ass, fuck. <laughs> Ready? So I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on our YouTube channel. Tell us for real what you guys want to see. We'd love to get some insight on uh, some of the stuff that the viewers would like to see, uh, whether it be, you know, walkthrough videos, product videos, what does what, um, winterizing videos, whatever. We're open to anything. So go ahead and leave that in the comment section, and we'll, you'll see it on the next video. Thank you, guys.